What's up guys? Lance Obscure Movie Guy coming to you once again with another fun-filled, fact-filled video that you probably won't care about, but we're gonna do it anyways, trying to change the world one post at a time. Now, as you can see, I don't have my background in place because I was clearing out the garage today a little bit, the best that I can, trying to make room for future projects, and I came across a box of old DVDs, and I've had a lot of people ask me about my DVD collection in the past, what's in it, how many do you have, and stuff like that. So I thought it would be kind of fun if we went through some of the random DVDs that I have. So starters, my DVD collection isn't that big, somewhere around 300 to 350 last time I counted. So, but a lot of the movies that I review are movies that not only do the, have I seen, but movies that I own. Uh, there's also a lot of movies that I haven't touched on yet that I do actual own physical copies of. So I thought today, while going through the garage, came across this box of old DVDs. And you know what, I'm just gonna randomly pull out, let's mix them up a little bit. And the first one is going to be <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme's Derailed. Uh, this actually came out 2002-ish. So, not a great movie, I'm not going to lie to you. So, this is well past Van Damme's heyday. Uh, Van Damme's last U.S. theatrical release movie that he actually starred in uh, was back in like 1998. It was a movie called Knock Off. And then after that, in the U.S. market, most of his movies were straight to video, starting with 1999's Desert Heat, a.k.a. Inferno, if you're in a different part of the world. Derailed came out in 02. Now, the interesting thing about Derailed and his other movies like Desert Heat, Replicant, and this, um, he still had some popularity in the U.S. So in the late 90s and early 2000s, he actually had a deal cut with USA Network, and they would show Van Damme marathons where they would run most of his straight-to-DVD movies back-to-back-to-back, uh, to back to back, and this was one of them. So not a great movie. It's uh, it's an under-siege wannabe. Um, it's about a... He plays a special agent on a train that's carrying a bioweapon. Terrorists want to steal the train and hijack it to get the bioweapon and use it against the world. Um, but it's not great. Bad special effects. It actually does look like a made-for-TV movie. Uh, the only cool thing about it is, in the beginning of the movie, you do get to see a very young Chris Van Varenberg, which is actually his son. So his real name is Jean-Claude Van Varenberg. So, but Chris is in it. And to be fair, he did make Chris work to get the part. He did not just hand it to him. Now, Chris has gone on to be a grown-up, and he's been in a lot of Van Damme films, but he's also his own man who does his own directing and his own projects. So... There's the first goofball one that you're going to come across in this DVD box. Derailed. Let's see what's next. Wow. Grilled with Ray Romano and Kevin James. This is 2005, I want to say. And this was actually back when they were, you know, this is their heyday as far as the TV series, King of Queens, Everybody Loves Raymond. So they put them together to try and make some sort of buddy comedy, and it did not fare well. In fact, during test screenings, the movie did so bad that it never got a theatrical release that it was supposed to. The only place it was ever released theatrically was the United Arab Emirates, and it only garnered like $50,000 in its run. Uh, kind of a weird movie. These guys play door-to-door -door meat salesmen. Um, not sure if that's still a thing. Burt Reynolds is in it. He plays uh, the bad guy, but... Uh, yeah, they get wrapped up in some sort of mafia uh, type thing where they witness a murder and they're trying to make the sale to keep their job. And the chemistry between them two is actually pretty good. But the movie itself was uh, it's pretty lackluster and not very good as far as the laughs go. So let's do one more. Let's see what else I can pull out of the old. What is this bad boy? Oh, hey, here we go. Here's one that most of you probably never heard of. Green Street Hooligans with Elijah Wood and Charlie Hoonan from Sons of Anarchy. Old movie. This is 2002, 2004. I can't remember exactly, but it's actually a really good movie. Uh, Elijah Wood basically plays an American who is over in London. I can't remember if it's for vacation or for school or something of like that. Um, but he gets wrapped up into the soccer. Don't say soccer. Football. Hooligan world. Um... If you're not familiar with the term hooligans over there, that's basically the guys that go to the bars, drink, eat, and brawl during the soccer games while rooting for their favorite teams. And Charlie Hoonan is the head hooligan of the 
Green Street Hooligans. Actually, I think they call themselves the Green Street Elite in the movie, but they are in fact Hooligans, so it's nothing fancy. But actually, really good movie. Charlie Hoonan, really good actor. He Everybody loves him from Sons of Anarchy, but he's been doing it a lot longer than that show. Elijah Wood, obviously, tried and true, been in a lot of good stuff. The chemistry between these two is actually really good in this movie, and I'm kind of surprised it didn't get a bigger type reception here in the U.S. Uh, but really interesting movie. I definitely highly recommend this one, especially out of these three. This is the best one I've pulled out so far. So let's see if we can do one more. What else is in here? I'll try and grab one from the bottom. Oh, look at that. That's a weird one. The Ice Harvest. John Cusack and Billy Bob Thornton. Uh, I'm not even sure when this one came out. I don't remember. It was late 90s, early 2000s. Check it out. You can still see I paid $14.99 for this from... Um, what the hell was this place called? Hollywood Video. Remember video stores? Hollywood Video. Uh, and to be honest with you, I don't think I actually paid $14.99. It was probably... Hollywood Video used to run specials where you could buy like five for 20. And that's probably where I got this. Interesting movie. I think Randy Quaid's in this as well. Um, and Connie Nielsen. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't really remember a whole lot about this movie. It was semi-interesting. Um, but obviously not interesting enough to give it a second watch. So that's the tip of the iceberg of my DVD collection. In fact, I might go back and watch the Ice Harvest after I watch the Giants lose tonight. What do you figure on that one? So random video, quick, easy. That's me for you. Like, share, like, share and comment. <laughs> Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Check me out on Facebook. And I will see you guys in the next one.